What's going on everybody? Welcome to Arrival Entertainment and today I'm going to be doing a different type of movie collection video than what I usually do on this channel. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the store Half Priced Books. If not, they're mainly a used bookstore, but they do carry a lot of used DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, and sometimes collectibles too. And they had a pretty interesting sale going on today. What they did is they handed you a red bag once you got to the door and then you fit anything you want in the bag and then when you go to check out, the entire bag is 20 bucks. And with me being the big movie collector I am, I'm always going to Half Price Books to check out their used DVDs and Blu-rays, so I took that opportunity to buy a whole bunch of DVDs and a couple of Blu-rays too. So that's what this video is going to do. I'm going to go over some of the DVDs and Blu-rays that I got in the collection. I thought about doing some videos like this when I have like big collection hauls like this that I do one day. Maybe I'll do a video on it just to keep the content interesting on my channel. With that being said, Let's check out what I got at Half Price Books. I should note that there are some movies in this bag that I've heard aren't very good, but I do want to see them in one point or another, so just keep that in mind when I'm going through these. I know some of these movies that I have in here aren't well-received movies, but they are movies that I do want to see in one point or another. So like I said, let's get started with the Blu-rays first. I only got a couple of Blu-rays because their Blu-ray section was completely uh, gone through. They only had like a small handful of Blu-rays left, so I found a couple that I really wanted, and the first one I got is 101 Dalmatians 2. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on these movies because I got like 22 movies to go through, um, but I remember seeing this as a kid and I remember really enjoying it. I picked up Salt. I've been wanting to check this movie out for a while, and it's still in the plastic. I don't know if you could tell, but it's still in the plastic, which so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I picked up Exodus Gods and Kings. Uh, I think my dad wanted me to check out this movie, and I wanted to check it out for a while, and I finally found a copy of it. And the last Blu-ray I got is, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna apologize for this. I'm a big fan of Katy Perry. I've been a fan of her music ever since I was in high school. I think she's a really cool person. So I found Katy Perry Part of Me the movie at Half Price Books. I've never seen this. I wanted to see it back when I was in high school, and I never did. Yeah. Screw it. I like Katy Perry. I don't care. I'm not afraid to admit it. So those were my Blu-rays. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot because their Blu-ray section was really cleaned out. So the rest of these are all DVDs. And like I said, they're all movies that I want to check out eventually. But we're starting with A History of Violence. I've heard a little bit about this movie and it sounds pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Viggo Mortensen and David Cronenberg. So I found that. Oh man, Napoleon Dynamite. I remember... I remember watching this in high school, but I don't remember a whole lot about it, and I just never owned it until now. Plus, look at that slipcover. That's pretty cool. The uh, slipcover is honestly the reason why I bought it. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I got Deep Impact. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this movie. It's uh, like a late 90s, yeah, late 90s disaster movie, and I just saw it, and I was like, okay, I'll put it in the bag. I want to check it out. And starting with the movies that I heard are really bad, but I do eventually want to see, I got the remake of The Fog. Now, I've seen parts of this, and it looks really, really bad, but like I said, I want to check it out, and they had one copy of it, so. The next one I got is Some Like It Hot. I got this because the new Marilyn Monroe movie is coming out, and I heard this is one of her best movies, so I wanted to check it out. And I'm not sure if this is on the Criterion Collection or not. I don't remember, but either way, I don't care. I got a copy of it now. Uh, next, I got Rebel Without a Cause. I've been wanting to get this movie for a while. I've been wanting to get uh, James Dean's movies because I've actually never seen any of his movies. I've seen his performance in a couple scenes here and there for, from his movies, but I've never actually seen his movies all the way through. So I got that one. And the other one I got of his is East of Eden. And again, I've never seen this one, but I, I got Rebel Without a Cause, so I might as well get that one. Okay, the next one I got... Another one I heard not too many good things about, but I was going to watch this one in high school with a buddy of mine, but we ended up not watching it. That's Land of the Lost. I'm not expecting this movie to be good. I just, I wanted to see it, and I've been waiting since high school to see it, and I never got around to seeing it. I got the original Cabin Fever, and I had to make sure this was the original, because unlike the Fog remake, where I am interested in seeing that, even though I heard it wasn't that good, I'm not interested in the Cabin Fever remake. So, but I looked it up, this is the original version, and another cool lenticular slipcover. It's pretty cool, I like that. All right, what do we got next? Ooh, we got Matchstick Men, which I heard is on Blu-ray, but like I said, 
this was part of the sale and I had to fill up the bag, so I thought, sure, widescreen version. I've seen a lot of full screen versions of this. And that's the thing that I, about me, if I'm gonna buy a DVD now, I'm not gonna buy a full screen version because that just looks terrible on my 1080p and 4K TVs. But I finally found a widescreen version. I heard that's one of Nicolas Cage's best movies, so I'm excited to check that out. Okay, <laughs> this next one, I am gonna, I'm gonna try my best to describe why I bought it. Uh, it's a really, really stupid comedy. Uh, I bought the house bunny on DVD. <laughs> God. So, I watched this movie a lot when it came out. It came out in what, 2008? Yeah, 2008. I was in eighth grade when this movie came out. And that was around the time period in every man's life where he goes through puberty. He likes, he discovers things about himself. And uh, yeah, I watched this movie a lot back in middle school. And I haven't seen it since middle school. And I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I remember this movie. I remember being really, really stupid. Like really, really stupid. And I was like, do I even want it? I don't know if I'm even going to watch it again. It didn't really... I don't know, like, I have nostalgic memories of watching it, but I think that nostalgic memories were just my teenage hormones going off, going off because it was right around the time I hit puberty, but it's unopened still, so I thought, you know what, I gotta fill up this red bag. Sure. I don't even know if I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> um, I picked up Wreck 2. Now, this was the first DVD I saw when I got to the store. I was like, ooh, I gotta check to see if they have the first one. I completely forgot to check if they had the first one. And I forgot I left it in my bag. So, I got the second one, but I don't have the first one. I picked up 1941. I heard this is one of Steven Spielberg's best movies, but again, I do wanna check it out. It's Steven Spielberg with John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Who knows, I might enjoy it. Uh, I got Need for Speed. I wanna see it. Yeah, I heard it wasn't all that great, but I want to see it. Uh, another one that was that is unopened is Tully. I was going to buy this when Family Video was closing. They had a few copies of Tully, but I never got around to getting it, and then they closed down, and I've never been able to find a copy ever since then. But I found this at Half Price Books, and it's still in the plastic, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm a big fan of Charlie Theron, so... I'm immediately like, yep, okay, I'm interested. Everything she does, that I've seen at least, is really great. Okay, we got DuckTales Volume 1 and DuckTales Volume 2. Oh my gosh. I watched a lot of DuckTales when I was a kid, and I gotta get more episodes of the original DuckTales. I have a couple DVDs of DuckTales of the new show, which aren't that bad. I have seen those two DVDs, and it's pretty good. I like. I do like the rebooted version of DuckTales. Um, but I gotta get some more of the original show on DVD eventually. Because, oh man, when I saw these, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, they got DuckTales here. So, yeah, I'm really glad I got those. And lastly, another nostalgic movie from... I forgot when this movie came out, but I want to say... 5th grade? 5th grade? 6th grade? Something like that? I don't remember. But it's The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. Really pretty bad movie. It's a pretty bad movie looking at it as an adult. But very similar to a couple other movies that I got here, I am very, very nostalgic about this movie. I watched this movie so much as a kid. And yeah, I, I had a DVD copy of it that I bought at Toys R Us back when I was a kid. But that DVD got completely worn out and I ended up having to throw it out. Never got a new copy until now, which is unfortunate now that I waited until now to get it because I think this is on blue right now. So I don't know why I didn't just get a Blu-ray copy of it, but like I said, I needed to fill up the bag to get the sale. And yeah, it's in 3D, but there's no 3D glasses that come with it. So it looks like I'm stuck with the 2D version. Oh boy, 2D version. I get to watch all the 3D shots of them going like this in 2D and it looks completely terrible and cheesy, but you know what? I don't care. I'm really nostalgic about this movie. Is it terrible? Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. But I love Robert Ro Robert Rodriguez as a director, and I have fond memories checking out this movie as a kid. That is all my DVD and Blu-ray pickups from this really cool half price book sale that they were doing today. 18 DVDs and 4 Blu-rays for 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You guys know I'm a big movie collector, so 
I'm pretty happy with all these finds. It's all stuff that I want to check out. Again, I know there's some stuff that I heard isn't all that good in it, but again, it's stuff that I want to check out eventually. And that's my motto when I buy used DVDs or Blu-rays at these secondhand stores. If I want to check it out, whether I heard it's good or not, then it's at least worth picking up for a used sale price. So that's my video guys, just like always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on all these movies down in the comment section below, and let me know if you enjoyed this type of video and if you want to see me do more videos like this. I go to used DVD stores all the time and I'm buying a lot of stuff, whether it's a little bit of stuff or a lot of stuff, so if you want to see more videos of me like this showing off my haul when I get big stuff like this, then let me know in the comment section below. I'd be happy to do them. And before I go, I just want to say that I'm sorry I haven't been doing much videos lately. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I've been really sick this past week. I've had to leave work like twice this week because I've just been feeling absolutely awful. And then when I get home, I'm just not in the mood to really do anything. So I'm sorry I haven't been doing much videos, but I wanted to do this video because like I said, I think this was a really cool sale and I've wanted to do videos like this before. And I still have my August Blu-ray haul to do, so I gotta get back in the swing of things for doing videos. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you all as always for watching. I really do appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos and subscribe to my channel and enjoy my content. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share it. Subscribe right here if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, take care.